In terms of what's changing for pediatric scoliosis, over the past you know, 50 or 60 years, spinal fusion for scoliosis has been a really, really good and reliable treatment. And since about 2000, the techniques have gotten better and better. So more correction, uh, better results, better lung function afterwards, and the complications have gone way, way, way down. It's a really, really good operation with great long-term health-related quality of life for these kids, because we're not just treating kids, we're treating kids that become adults and live long lives. I also learn from every kid that I've ever fixed as I follow them into their 20s, 30s, 40s. I've been doing this for over 20 years, so I have moms coming back to clinic in their 30s with kids, and sometimes those kids have scoliosis, and then I'm taking care of those those children. So that's how I reassure them. I mean, just we, we take care of a lot of people with scoliosis, and uh, we do a good job. Our center is unique in that we have you know, essentially 100% dedicated care to scoliosis and the treatment and, and management of patients with complex spine conditions, including scoliosis and kyphosis. Having really a dedicated center of excellence in terms of treating patients with scoliosis, there's no question that we're able to provide a significantly more comprehensive evaluation and, and treatment program for the patients. And this dedication uh, to scoliosis benefits our patients. So if you look at the medical literature about scoliosis care, you actually see a, a couple of interesting things. So not just does high volume centers, people who, you know, when you take care of a lot of patients with scoliosis, do you have lower complications, but the effect is so profound that it actually reaches the level of the patient outcome. So not just reduced complications, not just shorter length of stay, not just expert staff and nurses who are able to compassionately understand exactly what the problems are, but it actually reach, reaches all the way to how far is your patient gonna walk in two years? How good do they feel? And so that combination of expertise and, and volume, sort of taking care of a lot of these folks uh, is what leads to those sort of best outcomes possible. What we've seen over time is as technology has advanced, it's really had a dramatic impact on our practice and in the treatment of scoliosis. Within my practice, we use a number of different technologies to make the surgery as safe as possible for the patients. And what that translates into ultimately is better outcomes for the patients, substantially reduced rates of complications compared to even looking back through the literature at 10, 15 years before, we know now we can do these surgeries with a very high chance of uh, getting through the patient through the surgery safely with minimal complications, uh, with the understanding that these may be very big surgeries sometimes that we're putting patients through, but uh, when we look at the patients at the six month mark and the one year mark, uh, they're doing substantially better in terms of their quality of life and, and ability to, to function.